Here I'm making the fire grate out of 3 16 flat mild steel plate. It takes some muscle sawing and filing it to shape. So let's fit this piece of steel into the shape of a grate inside the firebox of the locomotive. Getting there slowly but surely. Just takes a little bit of time. It's, it's not quite right at that end. I think it's this way around. I'm good at that end. I need to shape it at this end here and also shape it around the stays so I can get it out through the, the hole where the fire door is. Okay, a little bit more work on this. I'm filing notches in it to fit the inside of the firebox. Reducing its width a little bit. File off the burrs. See how this fits now. It's the way around. No, it isn't, it's that way around. Pretty good. It's got to be a bit sloppy. Actually, I don't think it's sloppy enough yet. See, I've cut the notches out where the lap joint takes place on the copper there. But I don't think I can pass it out through the door yet, the other side, through this part here. It's still sticking and it's got the stays in the way. But what I'll do first, I think I'll drill the holes in it and then take another look. I'm going to start drilling these holes with a number 34 drill and then I'll open them out from there. I'll see how the pattern looks. You see the pattern of holes. Probably going to countersink them in the other side. To show you the finished grate on the engine, I'll turn it over. It's just the headlamp falling off. I put that on to give it a little more character. So I um, take the split pin out of here, take the back bogey off, pull out the ash pan, and uh, with a little clip. So that's the finished grate. It's made out of just ordinary mild steel which will probably burn away at some stage or other. 
series of holes in it and what I did on the underside was I used a, um, a center drill and just made the holes tapered so that the coal, bits of coal, will fall through more easily. So that's the top surface where the coal will sit burning and that's the under surface which has that taper on all of the holes so that the coal will more easily fall through or the remains of the coal, the ash will easily fall through. So that is it.